Well, Mike, look, police officers sometimes make mistakes, okay? Um, they sometimes um, make – come on, give, wait. Um, police officers sometimes make mistakes. Um, For example, this young lady – Are you sure that's a police officer? This young lady, this officer – of the law. No, this isn't the U.S. women's soccer team. This is a police officer. Accidentally. I heard about this. Left her gun in a bathroom. <laughs> Can I just correct you there? Uh, this officer left her service weapon in a bathroom. That's far worse, by the way. That's way you worse. You could lose a gun. Yeah. <laughs> she lost her service weapon. So let's, let's see. Let's see what's <laughs> I'm Deanna Cantrell, the police chief in San Luis Obispo. I talk about I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Police chief. The chief. I'm Deanna Cantrell, the police chief in San Luis Obispo. I talk about transparency and having a relationship that's built on trust with our community. So I also want to make sure I practice what I believe. Therefore, I think you, sh you should hear this from me. I was eating lunch today at a local restaurant in San Luis Obispo, and I went into the restroom. Even though my gun was in a holster, it didn't stay clipped to my pants, so I removed it and I placed it next to me. I left and I left my firearm in the restroom. Within minutes, I realized it, but when I went back, it was gone. Someone had stolen it. I immediately checked video footage and I saw that three- No, 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 no. Did somebody steal it? Because stealing it would imply that they broke into your car and took your gun or, or yanked it off of you and ran away. You left your gun somewhere. Yes. It sounds to me like somebody found a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. If, if I were to go to a bathroom <coughs> and there was $1,000 in cash and I took it, I didn't steal it. Somebody left $1,000 in cash and I took it because it was there in the bathroom. But when I went back, it was gone. Someone had stolen it. I immediately checked video footage and I saw that three people had entered the restroom after me. The first man, whose photo was released on Facebook, went into the restroom after me and then immediately left the restaurant without ordering any food. The next two people that entered the restroom were still in the restaurant and said that the firearm was not in the restroom when they went in. My actions were irresponsible and dangerous, and I'm so grateful that after our preliminary investigation, a child didn't find it. I was complacent. And that's something you can never be with a firearm. So you're going to resign? So we need to outlaw firearms. Yeah. <laughs> um, secondly, I love how they, how they plastered this guy without any proof other than he went into the restroom. They plastered this guy's face on Facebook. <laughs> a guy who very easily could have just been using the restroom. Yeah, you don't know. Nobody knows. I expect more from myself as a person and especially as a police officer that has carried a firearm for 20 You think her husband's disappointed? What? Um, I don't think. You think she, her husband's a cop too? I think because sometimes a lot of both of them are cops. I think she's probably maybe single, maybe. Yeah, I hope she finds a dude. She seems nice. She, like she made a mistake, but I hope she finds a guy and gets married and maybe I, has some yeah, kids. I don't think that's a priority for her right now. She seems like a Melissa Etheridge fan, like a real career-driven type of woman. <laughs> career-driven. Mm -hmm. Lesbian bed death is real, folks. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of heated up frozen dinners. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stouffer's. 25 years. This was reported to my supervisor and law enforcement immediately, and the firearm was entered into well, a Believe it or not, is also a woman. This is a really fucked up state. <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere near this police department. Database. So I handed it off to my female police officer boss, and she immediately lost that... Uh, <laughs> Lost that report as well. Along with her gun, which is really yeah, weird. Which is weird because she doesn't know she where went her into gun. the bathroom to so, look for mine, came back and didn't have hers. So if you've seen two guns <laughs> lying around, please report. Uh, please turn them in to your local uh, police officer. <laughs> <laughs> and the firearm was entered into a national database. Now I'm off to Stone Creek Coffee to get my free <laughs> coffee. Come <laughs> to the bathroom. <laughs> And steal my service weapon. All right, thank you, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck. I expect to be held accountable, and I want to publicly apologize for my carelessness. When I left the uh, 
firearm in the bathroom. The men's bathroom, by the way, because I can use whichever one I choose. Oh, boy. Because this is America. They said that a man walked in and left with it, so probably was one, a unisex bathroom is what I'm assuming. Wherever she was, it had to be, right? Yeah. And I hope that in some way this serves as a lesson for others. No, 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 no. For others. Royce, it, other people need to learn from her mistakes. Don't you love when you hear f- fucking lefties all the time, only police officers should have guns because they're trained. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me right now? You are. The thing is, look, man, losing a gun. So, ask Anthony. Losing a gun's terrible. You don't know where a gun is. It disappears. But when you're a cop, like I have cop friends. I'm sure you do, too. That's like day one academy stuff is you don't you always know what your service weapon is. No matter like that's number one, no matter what. You always they know what your service you weapon is. They would rather you lose a squad car. Yes. I'm not kidding. No, it's for real. They would, they ra- would rather you lose a squad car than a gun. I'm telling you, because if for some... Can you imagine if that gun kills somebody now <laughs> and it's found? <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and then when they do, they'll call for gun control. Yeah, then, exactly. Because you're a fucking idiot and you're irresponsible. It's almost like, it's almost like a certain group of people shouldn't be in law enforcement. Almost. Can't say that, though. But it's almost like that.